Good afternoon YouTube. Today I'm doing a plastic dip for these wheels. New vehicle and I've got to change the wheels to black so I just figured I'd go ahead and give you a how-to video on the best ways i found to do it. You can take the wheel off the vehicle which involves a lot less steps but I'm doing it on the vehicle today to show the one that has more steps so if you choose to do it on the vehicle you know how. But all I've got today, I've got the color plastic dip I want. I am going to use the gloss name from plastic dip. I've got the alcohol and towel to be able to clean the wheel. Index cards, they're not necessary, but if you want to put them around the wheel to keep any plastic dip off the tires, but it, the plastic dip will pull off of the tires, it'll rub right off if you need it to. And then lastly, I've got garbage bags to where I can just stick them inside the wheel and cover up the, the rotor and the brakes and everything. To where all right guys, as you can tell, I now have done all the prep work. I decided not to go with the index cards because they just were having an issue just sticking in between the wheel and the tire, but I taped off my center cap, my valve stem, and I put the trash bag behind the wheel to where nothing would get on the brakes or the rotors. After all those coats guys, now I'm switching over to the Glossifier from Plasti Dip. I just kept spraying the coats on continuously until I was at the very end of the can. One can did the whole side of the truck for me, front and rear. So I'm only going to be using two cans of black Plasti Dip. And then I went ahead and bought two of these cans just to make sure I wouldn't run out whenever I'm trying to clear them. There you go guys, that's the final product. As you can tell, I already took all the plastic dip that was on the tires off. And went ahead and finished uh, three coats of clear coat. And then now I'll go ahead and jump over to the back so you can see that. And then I'll walk around to the other side so you can see what the other side looks like since I actually haven't done that side yet. So you can see the difference. The back wheel completed. And there is the wheel from what it looked like before all the plastic dip so you can see a big difference there. Here in a second, I'll go ahead and post up the pictures of them side by side so you all can compare them and see what you guys really think. So guys, that's a quick video on how to go ahead and plus dip your wheels. It completely changes the way the truck looks. Obviously, it looks completely different. If you all enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. You guys have a great day.